G'day everyone. I wanted to go through today fingerpool handles and shadow rails. There's quite often the times where these two get mixed up between each other, so I just thought I'd go through these clearly and explain the differences. So first of all, I've got a basic drawing here. We're going to start with looking at the fingerpool handles. Okay, so here I've got my door handles. I'm going to go to the fingerpool and select one of these. Same for my drawers. I'm going to select one of these. Okay. So now my drawing properties has got my finger pull handles. Now, as you can see here in the drawing, we have a finger pull handle on the top of our drawers and also our doors. You can see that they actually cut back the size of the door by the prescribed amount. Same with the door, and they actually come out with the doors as they open as described here in this example. All right, now let's have a look at shadow rails. So we're going to turn off the finger pull handles because we don't need those when we're doing shadow rails. They'll actually interfere with the settings. All right, but as these are handles and I don't need them because I'm going to go to shadow rails, I'm just going to quickly go down here and turn off my handles. Now for shadow rails, I'm just going to turn them on on my draw doors and drawers at the moment. I'm going to go to 3D and have a little bit of a look. All right, now you can see that there is the shadow rails come on. They are actually mounted to the top of the cabinet here, and the door overlaps them. As we move over to these drawers, you can see they're between each of the drawers, and each of the drawer fronts has an overlap over those rails. So now let's take a little bit more of a look at this in detail as to what's going on with these settings. Just going to position this correctly. All right. All right, that should be a good position there. So let's go through these settings in detail. In the topmost draw position, we have the height. This is the height of the topmost shadow rail. Then we have the height draw, which is the shadow rail height that are not the top ones. These ones are often found between each individual draw. Then the setback is how far each of these rails is set back from the front of the carcass. With a setback of zero, they'll be positioned flush with the carcass. As we move down the screen here, we get the top of door or top drawer. And here we can see how much we are asking it to overlap the height. So we are overlapping 25 millimeters up here at the top. Now, when we look down at the next row, we get the top of lower drawers. This is referring to every drawer front that is not the topmost one. So here we are once again overlapping the height drawer by 25. Now we've got the bottom of individual drawers. Once again, this is all the drawer fronts except the bottom one this time. And in here, we've got it overlapping the height drawer by five millimeters. And finally, we've got the bottom of the drawer or the drawer bank or the door. Now, typically this one is set to flush and it is how much the drawer door is going to overlap outside the carcass. All right. Thanks for listening.